Here's the first 13 issues of Byte Magazine. Issue number one was published in September of 1975. It was published primarily by the uh, publishing staff of 73 Magazine. However, the Byte Publication Company was owned by Wayne Green's former wife, Virginia Green. And you'll see this provided some interesting uh, stories here very shortly. We're going to give you a quick uh, glimpse of the covers of the first uh, 13 issues. There's bite number one, bite number two, bite number three, bite number four, bite number five, bite number six, bite number seven, Number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, and here's the point oh one centennial issue, the thirteenth issue. This little article I wrote and published in LCFarticles.com by Microcomputer Magazines. If you stop the video, I think you'll be able to read it. It's particularly about the Byte Magazine talks about a few other things. Not 100% accurate. We've learned over the years that a lot of stories were fabricated, false, and so forth. But uh, basically it's true and uh, very interesting uh, reading about Wayne Green and his uh, bite computer escapades. This issue of Byte Magazine, number 7, March 1976, was especially interesting for us because it advertised a computer that was designed by my colleague John Titus, who also designed the Mark 8. You see a Mark 8 video here in the LCF video channel. This is a teaching computer with the breadboarding capability the I.O. bus brought out for teaching and design purposes. We uh, licensed this computer to uh, E&L Instruments and they sold it along with a newer computer, which you'll see here in just a moment. Interesting that the back cover of the first 13 issues all advertise the Mitzaltair computer. Many of them the 8800. Another interesting one. Well, these are all the 8800. There's the 8800 and the 680. Again, the 8800 and the 680. Here's the 680. By the way, there's a video on my video channel about the Altair 680. There are many interesting stories about the early publication of Byte Magazine. Here you see issue number one. Carl Helmer's editor, assistant publisher, Judith Harvey. It's reported that in the second issue, just before it went to press, Wayne Green substituted his name for publisher. This went on for three issues. And then in December, uh, Virginia, moved the whole publication out of the 73 headquarters and made her publisher and Manafort Pesky as general manager and Carl Helmers as editor. And the interesting thing here is, you see her name is Virginia Green as president, but then the very next issue, number six, is Virginia Pesky. So uh, must have been some interesting relationships there too, along with Manafort Pesky. I haven't done the research on that, but uh, in the long run, uh, Wayne Green lost control, control of the magazine. Here's the product announcement. In the 13th issue of Byte Magazine, September 1976, the MMD-1 microcomputer breadboard designer used for education and engineering development. This is the second teaching computer designed by John Titus, my colleague. You notice that Tycon Incorporated there in Blacksburg, Virginia, sold by e &L Instruments. We eventually changed our name to the Blacksburg Group, and our small group uh, designed a lot of educational material and some books called the Blacksburg Continuing Education Series, sold by Howard W. Sams, and the hardware sold by E&L Instruments. Just to give you an idea of the collector's value at this time, this Byte magazine I see advertised on eBay for $200, hopefully on bid, but buy now is $100. So they're getting to be quite collectible. This is just one issue. Actually, we've been collecting these since day one. We have quite a number of these issues and quite a number of whole sets of the early issues of Kilobot and Kilobyte magazine. They're becoming quite uh, 
quite rare and quite collectible. March of 1977, staff of Byte Magazine put together what they call the Best of Byte, Volume 1. About 400 pages, the best articles from Byte Magazine. I see this selling uh, on the internet on eBay for about uh, twenty dollars. It's not expensive to get this uh, nice collectible piece. Virginia eventually sold the bite after about eight years to McGraw Hill. McGraw Hill put out this uh, best of bite in 1994, and it's about 650 pages, and it has some interesting. Uh, in addition, a number of great articles or from past issues. It has some great articles on the brief history of microcomputing and also the brief history of Byte Magazine. It's also available for about 20 bucks on the used book market. This is Dee Wallace of LCF Group. Thank you for watching this informative little video. Have a good day.